it isn't about money. The goal is not to be made in a monetary way, but more like a rush for people to places where art is embraced and celebrated. Gold Rush is a European exchange project that aims to bring creative cities together through art. By highlighting initiatives, approaches, and where they use art to gain a social impact, we want to document those so other people and our cities can learn from these approaches. We do this because we want to show that art can serve a deeper functionality. For this edition, we visited the city of Ghent, where we painted at the Sorry Not Sorry Street Art Festival. We went to Portugal, to the municipality of Lourdes, where we met up with the people of Lourdes Arte Publica and did a grand scale mural concept where they pimped the streetscape of a social housing area. Through the project, we want to give artists the opportunity to work on a larger scale, to work outside of their comfort zone and show the world what they have to offer. When you're playing with paper planes is when you're like a child, you're still very naive, you know, like, uh, yeah, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a vet, I want to be an astronaut, you know, like, and I blend this with this piece of paper that it's, it's something where you sketch, so it's also like, make a sketch for your life, a plan, whatever, and you can either grab it, put it in a drawer, put it in a trash bin, or make it fly. About Gold Rush, this is for me the best part of, uh, of graffiti. It's being together with people and, uh, and meeting new friends and you know a guy from this country, a guy from that country and when you go there you paint there with them, when they come here they paint here with you. It's this like uh, exchange of thoughts, of techniques. The main goal is to travel as much as possible and maybe one day I can tag the moon, I don't know. Since I was a little kid, I was always fascinated by those like galaxy pictures. I dream about the universe because maybe, well, I never had access to a lot of things. I went to this coffee here, it's called the Boteco, and it had this inscription on the wall in Latin, Ars longa vita brevis. The art lasts, but the body doesn't. I really need to, to feel that I left something for someone to see. And those little kids that are passing by my wall now, if I can save them for having a nine to five job and being frustrated, that's my goal in life, really. It's like a wizard possessed by his own magic. This uh, personage is pushing the walls as a curtain. I thought about ourselves like magicians and that are doing stuff behind the closed doors and this time I wanted to show it to, to the world. Paintings are good for community. If you like or you dislike, you will talk about it. And maybe you will talk about it to a stranger in the street. The murals here in Ghent is all new for me. It's really a blast. <laughs> and I'm enjoying really the, the painting of a sweet colored Sebastian. I want to give him a props. I want to keep the level. <laughs> I wish. People say that I'm, I'm too critic or maybe too dark, maybe too sinister, but I'm, I'm trying to, to, well, at least make the ugly beautiful. De beste manier om mensen in aanraking te brengen met kunst is eigenlijk de straat. Daarom hebben we Hans project uitgewerkt waarbij dat kunstenaars eigenlijk walls kregen, muren kregen. Straatkunst gaat eigenlijk veel ruimer dan enkel uh, beeldende kunst of uh, murals. En dat hebben we allemaal samengebracht in Sorry Not Sorry. 
geven vooral de kans aan jonge collectieven om zich te laten zien, om een publiek te vinden. En we hebben daarvoor ook gekozen voor toch wel bijzondere plekken in onze stad. En de tweede editie is doorgegaan in het Oude Havengebied. Door dat allemaal samen te brengen, hebben we eigenlijk de kunst op straat extra in de schijnwerper gezet. We zijn een stad die een blik op de wereld moet hebben. Ik denk dat dergelijke uitwisselingsprojecten een enorme verrijking kunnen zijn voor de mensen die eraan deelnemen. Men komt in contact met andere talen, met andere culturen, met andere leefgewoonten. En door die uitwisseling kunnen wij ook kansen geven eigenlijk aan andere internationale kunstenaars om hier aanwezig te zijn, om hier ook een creatie te maken. It was a very cool experience to be exposed to the project in Lourdes. It was definitely an interesting insight in how that project is working within the community. And it's cool to have a, a separate project uh, like Graffiti Gold Rush that can create some kind of dialogue with other neighborhoods. I've been working a lot around uh, armor and defense mechanisms that we have as humans. There's a lot of rivalry between different neighborhoods in Lourdes. And so the piece that I made is titled End of a Conflict. His armor is worn out, his sword's broken. He carries a flag over his shoulder that starts out as dark, thick war smoke that turns to blue sky, that turns to kind of a white flag, which for me is kind of a transition to a more peaceful period. I also put in a skull. I contemplated about that part for the, the longest because of course it, it's a reference towards death, but it's looking away as in like a, a grim reaper that's kind of not so focused on those two neighborhoods anymore. Lourdes Artists Publica is a project I like to work with because what they've done and what they do is bring color and character to the neighborhoods and also some attention. I painted a chameleon and a salamander. The chameleon is able to change colors. When you paint on a wall on the street in, in a neighborhood, you, you change the color of the neighborhood. It's also about adapting. The chameleon adapts to the situations. I always paint the same thing. I paint masks and they're all based on an E-M-E -E letter scheme. That's why I call the creatures that I paint, I call them emis. And every time when I draw them again, they change a little. The skill with which I painted them has increased a bit. I want to be like Corny and throw in a Bruce Lee quote. I don't fear the man who practices 10,000 punches. I fear the man who practices one punch 10,000 times. The experience I had painting in Portugal was a, was a great one. So as a beginning artist, being able to paint next to huge artists like Sipil and a squid called Sebastian was an uh, enormous uh, learning opportunity. Like it's a marathon. If you have to paint five days and it's just first time painting so long on one piece, it's a very mentally enduring thing. But having two guys like, like them next to you, they keep you, uh, keep you focused. Nowadays, it is artistic paintings everywhere. It's a way of changing the neighborhoods because this was a closed in itself neighborhood. Uh, no one came here and people didn't say they lived here. They want to change the image of the neighborhood. They decided to make festival Ubairu Imun, neighborhood festival for, for the world. We make an open call, invite a lot of artists from everywhere. At this time we have a lot of workshops, a lot of uh, football tournaments, a lot of concerts. The main goal of this project was to open the neighborhood for the world.
after the festival Ubay Rimund, you can see a lot of people coming from United States, from Denmark, from Germany. And in that case, the festival, they achieved the goal. Ricardo, how are you? We use art to do a lot of activities that we can include the, the teenagers and trying to occupy them in the healthy way. Uh, Ricardo, can you tell us what you think about the paintings here, about graffiti? They are fish. I think it's a little bit of the paintings. Would you like to learn to paint with someone on a wall? No, I never liked it. When they, don't, they are not in their comfort zone, mm -hmm. yeah. he never paints. They are like, okay, no, maybe no. Yeah. But after when they start to try, they like, okay, it's so fish, it's so cool. Fish is cool, so. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. The second edition was in another neighborhood uh, called Quinta do Mocho. This second edition had uh, biggest impact. You can see a lot of graffiti there and the, the neighborhood is a little bit more biggest than ours. Unfortunately, I cannot be there because the two neighborhoods have some problems. When they understand I'm from Apple Sound, something can happen. It's like a movie. Two warriors fighting for the, the donzel, the, the, the lady. I go pick my friends, you will pick your friends, and we fight. A way to, to end the fighting between the, the neighborhoods was to make something that can put people inside the, the, inside the neighborhood. They saw that with urban art, we are more open to the people. For me, it's great because I love art. Uh, and it's a way to transform mentalities. We pass from one of the worst neighborhoods to be one of the best neighborhoods. Nowadays, we can find a job because everyone knows that Quinta de Mosh is not the same that he was to be. When we said that we are from Quinta de Mosh to outside, we go with the head down. We've got problems with all the, the neighborhoods, but nowadays we go with the head in, in, the, in the top. Why? Because we are from Quinta de Mocho. The gold for which we dug, we found. Uh, cities where art was embraced, where art was celebrated, where it found a deeper functionality. We had a lot of learning opportunities, not only for the artists that came along, but also the people behind the scenes. We hope through this project that we have been able to educate other people, show potential of projects and what art can be on a deeper level. We also hope that we can do a second one, in which we hope to collaborate with another great initiative found somewhere in Europe. And we hope that you will hear from us in the very near future.